All right, our beautiful friends. So we got cut, we got cut off on our previous video. So this is the part two when we were talking about the special club the special legal society that they've created and we are not in this club that's a special ruling class uh, all the attorneys and the whole bar association which stands for british accredited uh, regency uh, registrar and um it's a, it's the greatest uh, deceit and we were talking about you know why they don't want you to know your rights why they want you to always hire attorney to trap you into their system of statutes codes ordinances uh which do not apply to you as a living man and woman so we will be going back to when it really actually started and you know that it's really not even lawful doc can you explain yeah going back to where we were the the bar association california bar association uh was created by article 6 section 9 of the 1879 california constitution okay that's what allowed them to exist uh it, they were created as a public corporation under article 6 section 9 which was a violation of the 1849 constitution because no special act could uh, create a public corporation. The only thing they could commit or uh, uh, create is a municipality. Okay, so the Bar Association never had a, a lawful existence anyway. But being that it was created by their corporate charter from 1879 and Article 6, Section 9, when their corporate charter or the 1879 Constitution was repealed by, the, by repealing the effective date that it took effect, okay, it repealed that whole corporate charter or what they call the constitution so one thing um excuse me for interrupting you very important note to make is so we had we are here in california we are in california and so we had uh the organic california constitution which was created in 1849 and then what they did when uh lincoln took the office and when this whole thing basically got turned over to become a corporation they literally mirrored the organic constitution for their corporate charter. Is that correct, Doc? They sort of mirrored it. What they did was they came in and they they actually, the 14th Amendment had, come, had been uh, falsely passed. And um, they took and when they passed the 1879 constitution, the only people that were allowed to vote were registered voters which were 14th Amendment citizens, which were now debtors and assets of the corporation. And by uh, registering to vote in their corporate uh, elections, because you know that's all they were, was a corporation at that point. And, and when they changed the free electors into registered voters without their knowledge and consent, that was an ultra virus act, which made everything void ab initio anyway. But since they did an audit and I believe there was like two counties or three counties in Southern California that did not uh, uh, approve. approve or uh, validate uh, the 1879 Constitution, Constitution, then it was void. And instead of just voiding it, what they did was they came in and they repealed the, the date that it took effect, okay? Well, if, if it repealed the date it took effect, it never took effect. That means that it repealed the whole constitution or the whole corporate charter. So the only thing that's really operating is the 1849 uh, trust indenture, which will, it created a Republican form of government. And so what you have to do is you have to understand that once a trust is created, it cannot fail for lack of a trustee. So when they created the 1879 constitution or what they call a constitution, which was their corporate charter, an, enfran an enfranchisement of Washington DC United States Corporation. Okay, then they came in with the zip codes and the Buck Act and a few other things. So very important note to make. So look at your address. If your address has a zip code, the first letter indicate which district you are in. Okay, this is how they broke it, broke it down and franchised the, the, the states under the District of Columbia. That's why you'll find if you get a, a credit report on any of these uh, corporate counties, the counties of, 
or the state of California or what have you, when you get their DUNS number and get and sign up as one of their owners and have them give you the credit report every month, you'll see it says the legal form. It'll say U.S. Corp or Corporation U.S. Okay, so they're claiming to be a corporation. But now if you go file a Public Records Act request requesting their corporate charter and their application to become a corporation and the name of their board and the name of their officers and agents, and the name of their investors, and everything that they have to have to legitimately claim a corporate uh, status, right? You'll find out that they don't have it and they'll claim that they're, in my case, county council claims they're a legal, legal. Subdivision, subdivision of the state, which means they're a contractual. Legal means contract, okay? And so they're a contractual uh, subdivision of the state. Well, you know what? Um, I'm a state, uh, you know, um, if you get into it, we're each states, okay? And this state of being never contracted with anybody, all right? So, you know, I don't know who they're claiming to be contracted with or a legal form of the state, but it's no state that I know. Uh, it seems to be a state of confusion to me. That's right. It's, it's absolutely a state of confusion. And they want you to be part of that state of confusion because if you ever look at their statutes, codes, and ordinances, it's one big chaos and confusion and this is why they want you to hire attorneys because they will they will trap you inside of it and it's going to make your head spin you will never understand anything uh, and that's exactly planned it's designed to be that way yet your rights are very simple right our rights is right to life, liberty, and property pursuit of happiness. So you do not hurt another man and woman. You do not hurt their property. You do not trespass on their property or their rights. And beyond that, you are free American to go on to live your life. You do not need these po this police state to be controlling your behavior. And so as Doug was saying, what has happened with especially specifically here on California, uh, we had the organic, the first organic, the pure uh, uh, constitution, the 1849 constitution, which is in fact, and what they did, they, they created their own corporate charter constitution, the 1879 that's been repealed uh, where they've created this whole legal system of these codes, statutes, ordinances, orders, and whatever, which does not apply because it's been null and void. So, so anything, basically, they, it, they, they cannot use it against you. Well, not only that, but look, it, it pans out like this, okay? What they've done is they realized what they, what they were doing was unlawful. OK, but instead of just coming out and going back to what they were supposed to do, they were crooks. So they had to do something. So they went in by ballot and repealed the effective date that the 1879 Constitution took effect and then went, shh, okay? don't tell anyone. So, so now look, this is this. I've got the ballot pamphlet and, and the thing that shows it passed. Right. We have the evidence. It, it, it's, it's, it's in the archives at the secretary of state's office. So. What you have is you have public record, okay? Now, this public record states that what they're using, if you get on their website, you'll see that they're using the 1879 Constitution, okay, for their what's called scope of authority. Scope of authority means the their ability to create, apply, and enforce these so-called statutes or what they're trying to call laws, which are really... They're, they're, they're private corporate bylaws, bylaws, okay? And so you need to understand that. It's like McDonald's can't pass laws, okay? It can pass a policy if you work for it. And this is the same thing, okay? And so, you know, what you need to figure out is the original constitution in California is still there. Those offices are still there because it's a trust indenture that was by the people, for the people, and of the people. Nobody get, they just... The, the original uh, public trustees, the right or the authority or delegated in the power to create a corporation, uh, change the people's status and, and standing without their knowledge and consent, and, and give their governmental powers to this corporation and then abandon the offices that they were elected to. 
Okay, that's treason. Okay, so so they never had that power of authority. So that's called again an ultra virus act, which means it was void ab initio. It's like it never happened. Yet we have it even being repealed, and now you have all the law enforcement. Okay, law enforcement is this new age crap of the UN. Whether you know it or not, cops. You know, that's what them blue uniforms are in that other locker room over there that you're going to get told to put on here in a minute. Okay. But the bottom line is we don't have to, we don't have to play in their, their sandbox. Okay? That's right. That's see, right. See, you see, we're free people. Okay. And I mean people like men and women. All right. And, and see, as men and women, okay, we have nobody standing between us and God. All right. We and our, our creator are one. I, I'm an extension of my creator into this into this plane of existence right now to help out the good side, okay? And, you know, we all have a job to do. And one of the jobs is to pick a side, okay? And what I mean by pick a side is, you know, you want to live with somebody's boot on your neck, right? Or do you want to stand up and say, hey, enough is enough? Because as a man or a woman, you do have unalienable rights. And those rights are your rights to express and exercise. And then, you know, you may have to defend them. That's okay? right. But I would rather defend my rights, okay, and, 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 and go back home with a smile on my face, knowing that I did something right, than live with the boot on the back of my neck, okay? That's the American spirit right there. That's what they're trying that's to. Right. That's, that's what right. you're trying to crush out. That's why they're trying to take our Second Amendment. You know what I mean? Okay. But the bottom line is, you know, right now the pen's mightier than the sword. That's right. If you know how to use it. And so what these videos that we're doing is we're giving you crumbs that you can digest, and then you can look at it. And if you got a little bit of uh, critical common thinking. sense and critical thinking, you can utilize this in your daily lives because you know what time it is. That's right, people. My beautiful friends, the time is now. Uh, you need to remember who you are. You live in America. You are free American and your rights are unalienable. What that means that no one can put a lien on them. And all these people that are supposed to serve you, they are your public servants. And it's time that we start putting them in place. We start holding them accountable and we start, you know, calling their deceit and constructive fraud out because time is up. So wake up America. We are sending much love, happy holidays. And this is call for all the patriots to come out and no longer be silent. Sending much love. Have an amazing day.